But what's crazy is me and Lil Nas are sitting on number one, and I'm he's number one, and I'm number two trending. He's speaking about the devil, and I'm speaking about God, Doug. So go ahead, make the switch. Like, you know, just switch it, and then I become number one because God is the best, man. You always get people come up and like, yeah, uh, I am live on Skipani. <laughs> Basically, Ngulungul was a prayer um, that just me asking God for stuff, you know, asking God for success, asking God for money. And I dropped a specific song with a specific video because I'm just trying to introduce a different sound that isn't a Santon or a Manigi Nigi, which is really going to be uncomfortable for people because it's just like, oh, you know, it's just very weird for them right now. And everybody's complaining, but they're actually catching the hang of it, you know. Cause it's just like it's a prayer more than anything. You can't always say nigga nigga beef scenting vibes group everything. No man, I just wanted like a really different vibe where people would feel some type of difference apart from yo I want to dance all the time. You know, yes I made it a dance video, but it's just more than anything. It's something you. It's an energy type of thing. Every kid needs to know about it. Every parent, you know, really just like and it's a real thing. Cause sankas funi mali. My music video in Kulungulu was choreographed by Tlokhi M and Bunte M, Bunte Budisele, a popular choreographer and dancer as well. It was directed by myself and my whole team. I just had a vision of just something that is very dance worthy on an international standard level, apart from just an Amapiano video, chilling at a tech shop and then Kestrata and then Ki Kushe, so you understand. So I just wanted it to have a different feel and to just give it a standard of where I see myself going and it needs to be internationally appealing as well to put a certain level of the South African standard up. People think it's a dope video, but that actually wasn't the whole vision, you know? Yeah, it's crazy because well, we had we had so many shots in the I took out so many shots like in that video, it wasn't shot correctly. Um, the person just didn't deliver my vision, but he I could I was able to tweak whatever I could just so it looks appealing to the market. If you'd see the first draft, we were crying. We were just like, no ways, this does not make sense. I was really frustrated because I trusted somebody with my vision and. For you, for me to put so much money in it for, and for you to deliver such bad, he really delivered a bad service. Like, I don't even lie. I was just really emotional about it because everybody in that music video, we all sacrificed something to be there. Every dancer who was there, you know, uh, the team, there was only one, two people actually doing glam and hair on all of us, you know. Everybody sacrificed and then for somebody to just take that vision and just make it what it is right now. The video is not my vision, but it's just like, it's good enough to, you know. We had so many things. There was a Gushesha scene that we did uh, where I was basically gonna be in the car with the girls and Gushesha, cause, and I'm wearing LV, cause in one of the lyrics I'm like, you know, I'm just like Louis V on some slash that. So I'm like driving a Louis V on the slash that. There were so many shots. But um, I just guess, yeah. As long as you guys are happy, man. Obviously, me, I'm just like stressed. I'm like, no, dog, that it wasn't supposed to be like this. <laughs>